Hello, welcome to our channel. We're just hanging around the house. So today we'd like to get real. Mm -hmm. I will just say for me, being real is quite, quite a process because probably like a lot of you, I spent a great deal of my life trying not to let the real me show because, oh my God, what if somebody saw that? They wouldn't like it. Uh, and um, yes, it's been, it's just a process finding one's voice. You know, my, my, um, my brother was born completely deaf and uh, from as early as I can remember, my brother would tell me, you are lucky, you can hear. I am not lucky, I cannot hear. And it made me feel so guilty for having the gift of, of music, which is really what sustained me through my wacky childhood. And um, I, th I think I did a lot of, uh, when he was around, I did a lot of pretending like Oh, it's not really that fun. You know what I do? It's boring conversation with these people. Um, and maybe I spent so much time covering up my voice that it feels like it got lost along the way. Like I was maybe too shy to sing and too shy to speak. And it seems ironic because we travel around and I speak and I sing but it's not easy for me. Um, as Karen will tell you, <laughs> she's been a great counselor to me over the years. Um, but that's, that's a real piece of me. And isn't it ironic that we start a YouTube channel where, I mean, I think we're always drawing into our world opportunities for us to overcome our fear. And that's why I'm here, is to overcome the fear. Hmm. Why are you here? We're glad you are. Yeah. The other thing, I think for me, I'm probably more comfortable being in front of a camera, but there's a there's an issue with that because the kind of camera I'm more used to being in front of is kind of like, hey, hey, the one where you're supposed to be on, on, you're supposed to be on, and you're supposed to be cute and sexy and young. Oh God, don't forget young. You know, I watch them. <laughs> I watch sometimes. I try to watch America's Got Talent, and uh, you know, it's usually the. 12 and 13 year olds <laughs> that uh, Simon Cowell gets all excited about. And yeah, what about the 70 year olds and the 59 year olds? Be but it's not about, this is another cool thing. It's, I'm so grateful. So it's because our music is, has nothing to do with being sexy and cute and young and whatever. Um, it has to do with getting in touch with what's going on in here. So we're just really happy that you're joining us and you're not alone. Oh, you know, if we could reach out and give you a hug right now, mm -hmm. we would. Yeah. And we hope you can feel that hug through our the songs that we write mm -hmm. and the harmonies um, and our friendship as well. Um, we just hope it all wraps you up in a great, big, loving hug. Yeah. So, should we go make some music? Let's do. Okay. Here we are again. <laughs> Later that same day. Yeah. In our office and... This is the last time that we're going to do a video in here. Are, are we quitting? No. No. We're moving. It's moving day. Oh, boy, are you coming over? Yeah. Bring your truck and all your big, strong friends. <laughs> yeah, because we are moving downstairs. And if this is Studio A, we're calling that 
Studio 2. No. <laughs> I love that. No, that would be Studio B. Yeah, so the next time you see us, and we do hope that you'll come back, uh, we will be in a new space, and it's a different color, and it's going to be a different look. We hope it'll be good viewing for you. <laughs> and we're going to do a little time lapse of our move, of how we built this studio and how we're moving into that one. So, yes, could be fun. Who knows? We hope you enjoy all our silly stuff. Yeah. Uh, so many of our songs are not silly and, you know, kind of deep. I think that's why we tend to get silly in between. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so this is, I, I love this song and you wrote this be, without me. How dare you? I know. Uh, you wrote it with the wonderful and talented Angela Cassett. Yes, many years ago. Mm -hmm in my prehistoric era. <laughs> and just so you know, um, we wrote this song the day after I took Rachel to see the re-release of one of the most profound movies of our time. I was so inspired by it. I, I'm sure you know the one I'm talking about. Pinocchio. <laughs> You'll see. And when you hear the line about drop the act, good idea. Take off the mask, not a good idea mm -hmm. these days. This one, don't take that one off. Wear it everywhere you go. <clears throat> the other one, take it off. This one.
might be moving our studio. Right. Then we want to invite you into that process because you are the you in YouTube. Or are we the you <laughs> in YouTube? <laughs> you are the you that makes us do what we do. Hmm. Boo-boo. <laughs>